hello everyone so this will be my first review of fountain pens and I'm going to start off with uh, the latest one that I have purchased here in Krakow Poland so and that is the sailor 1911 standard fountain pen this one has a, a blue uh, a yellow body with golden trims I think it's uh, 18 karat gold coated trims a, a cigar shaped pen as you can see here and uh, the nib is basically a 14 karat gold nib it's a medium tip and I have inked it with so it was Christmas when I purchased this and I got the Pilot Irosi Zuku ink I could get one ink for free and the one that I had purchased is this one it's the Konpeki and you know somehow I figured out so this is one of the loveliest blue inks that I have ever written with or got into it's not perfectly blue it is somewhat in between uh, um, turquoise and blue it's not turquoise it's neither pure blue I would say it's somewhere in between but the the aesthetics of the color that that really attracts me and I, I know this is one of the one of the best uh, category inks uh, the pilot Hero Suzuku series and uh, out of the blue shades I, I really love the Konpeki one so <clears throat> I inked my Sailor 1911 standard with the Konpeki that I got free from here in Krakow in Poland there is only one major shop for fountain pens and they call it PJ Puro which literally means your pen or pen for you and uh, they, they have a pretty good collection here of uh, fountain pens mm, I'm afraid they don't have Momply yet but probably that will come soon into their store but all other uh, mm, the, the famous brands that we have gone across are available with them so this was my first purchase here and obviously this is also my uh, first sailor fountain pen so regarding the pen uh, the most uh, attractive part that that takes me away or blows me away is this this color the yellow color which is on the body and that somehow looks very very attractive to me and excellent uh, excellent uh, gold toning which is on the nib and on the trims uh, this this matches with it the black uh, endings of the finial and tip which is uh, yeah, somewhat okay even if it was fully yellow it would have been fine for me but anyway I, I really like this this particular color and uh, the nib so the nib size compared to the pins body size is somewhat proportional uh, if I compare with Mobla uh, or uh, Pelican I would say Mobla is a little bit smaller has a little bit smaller nib of this body uh, dimensions whereas Pelican has almost a similar sized nib uh, the Pelican nib anyway tapers tapers at the bottom and widens at the top whereas this is kind of a more uh, uniform nib if you look at it uh, the feed is a standard horizontal feed here the filling mechanism is a cartridge or a converter so I am using a converter here the converter was supplied along with the pen this is a standard uh, traditional converter so uh, it's, it's, it's uh, made by seller itself and it's supplied along with the pen as part of the package so that's more or less how the pen looks like aesthetically and uh, i must say it's one of the uh, one of my favorite pens now 
and uh, I, if I compare it with, with my other uh, fans in maybe slightly a higher category than this one then I have the Lamy 2K which is uh, much much more smoother than this one but again I would say uh, writing with a medium tip on a sailor nib which is a Japanese uh, tip I would say and uh, it's truly a, 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 a little bit thinner than the um, the line thickness is little bit less than the standard European medium nibs uh, and uh, if I consider this in terms of European standards I would say this is a more like a um, fine nib or similar for European class so if I compare this with pelican this is <coughs> narrower the line thickness is narrower for the medium tip much much narrower than pelican because I have the M400 which is also a medium tip but lights writes quite broader than this I have the Lamy 2K which also has a, a medium tip and writes little bit broader than this one similarly I have the Mobla uh, classic the 145 uh, which also has a medium tip and it writes a little bit thicker than this one so if I go by those standards this one is a European fine nib for me so I will also uh, provide some writing samples with it so bear with me for that okay so here it is uh, my uh, my sailor 1911 standard it's a blue uh, yellow body with a 14 karat gold nib medium tip and it's filled up with uh, pilot Hiroshizuki Hiroshizuku Konpeki so So now uh, I'll just go to the writing samples. So, pilot on Peaky, and along with that I have. Uh, this sailor 1911 standard fountain pen 14 carat gold nib medium and now for the smoothness so I'll just go a bit further here so the tip is really really smooth so I have no complaints no no uh, fi there is a feedback definitely but that that feedback is because of the pen gliding on the paper and it has it does not have a push back on 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 my writing uh, or a pressure back on my writing so this is uh, uh, very smooth so I have a habit of you know holding the pen a bit farther away so I hold it almost near uh, where the, where the <coughs> pen cap actually uh, gets uh, fits into the into the body so uh, with this this uh, hold or with this with this catch it's it's really really smooth so uh, what I can write is and regarding the ink yeah so as I said it's it's lovely it's wonderful and it's ex absolutely beautiful in uh, in terms of aesthetics I like the color and definitely it's not a wet not a very wet nib it's it's a not a very wet ink at all so it's somewhere in the medium it's neither a dry ink nor a waiting and it has uh, uh, if you look at the line thickness on either side both horizontal and vertical it's exactly the same there is no line variation with normal
pressure i would say and uh, i did not uh, well i did not dare to stress on the nib i don't want it to get you know uh, damaged or spoiled so uh, i would say it's i'm very 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 happy with this uh, this pen and with this kind of an ink inside it it's lovely to write with so the blue i can use in my office and i have been using quite regularly almost uh, let's say three days and out of five days in the week and <clears throat> in terms of uh, wetness so this is how it is so it's like uh, i don't know uh, let's say one two three four five so this is the five seconds the ink is really really uh, a quick dry ink i would say so if i wait around 10 seconds and try to do it it's still there but it's quite less and uh, uh, probably this is not a waterproof ink uh, but anyway uh, i don't need that either so uh, my writing scan get washed away after a few months i'm happy with that i will be writing more and more so now uh, what else uh, so i would uh, really recommend this pen to mainly to the beginners so i would say this is uh, the scope or the range of this pen is from beginner till professional anybody can use it so anyone who is starting up uh, with fountain pens can uh, easily go ahead with this pen the, even uh, because the nib is uh, a bit you know um, a bit um, um, strong so even if you push it further so there is there is a slight bend but that's uh, not really happening uh, or going to really damage the nib so uh, the people who start off with with writing fountain pens are, are, uh, tend to you know uh, put more pressure on it but gradually that that smoothens out and uh, we get a much much better handwriting capability so uh, it's it's a good starter pen as well for the fountain pen lovers and uh, for me the usp of this pen apart from the nib so sailor all sailors have a have a uh, standard of uh, nibs and uh, <clears throat> writing skills but this one for me the usp is basically the color of the body and the combination of the black yellow and the gold trims which is fantastic and it's it's a really really good pen to carry about it's noticeable yeah uh, because it's the color is quite vibrant but again like uh, that's not it's not not too fashiony or too flashy off inside the office so <clears throat> thank you very much for your time so this is uh, the review of my sailor 1911 standard fountain pen with 14 karat gold nib thank you